If you've ever searched the term police accountability or police brutality on YouTube, you know that police employee misdeeds aren't exactly rare. If you follow on Facebook or Twitter any of the multitude of cop block or cop watch profiles, you know that the initiation of force by those who claim to serve and protect is not uncommon. But rather than delve into yet another story that reinforces the fact that justice can never come from an institution founded on coercion, I want to point to a success story. The hero of our story is Drew Henderson, a longtime cop blocker out of Minnesota, whose actions led to one less than friendly police employee resigning. Here's what happened. About a month ago, Drew was perusing the Facebook page of his local newspaper in a story about an upcoming rally that was to be spearheaded by Twin Cities residents involved with Black Lives Matter, Drew saw a comment that caught his attention. That comment encouraged drivers who may be near the protest location to don't slow down, and if they happen to hit one of the quote idiots, they shouldn't be charged with anything. A pretty asinine comment to be sure, especially as it was left by J.M. Roth, or Jeff Rothecker, a St. Paul police employee of 22 years. Starting with a phone call and later in-person discussion, Drew notified Rothecker's colleagues, and he made his discovery public in a very thorough video. The next day, Twin Cities media outlets reported on the story. Rothecker was put on paid administrative leave and stepped down from his role as vice president of the Minnesota Fraternal Order of Police. He then apologized, claiming that he did not intend anyone harm. But this was not an accidental comment or slip of the hand by Rothacker. In fact, his history towards peaceful protesters is crystal clear. Three months ago, Jamar Clark was killed in Minneapolis, just across the Mississippi River from St. Paul, by Minneapolis police employees Mark Riggenberg and Dustin Suarez. Residents concerned about that incident had camped out in front of the Minneapolis police outfit's 4th precinct, and in an effort to bring more attention to their cause, some protesters blocked a nearby highway. Whether you agree or disagree with those tactics, you probably won't side with Rothacker, who left a comment online and pretty much echoed what Drew had found more recently. He stated that other drivers should have run them over. And in 2008, when the Republican National Convention was held in St. Paul, it was none other than Rothacker who assaulted a peaceful protester on the street. As freelance photographer Julie Sandberg stated, I watched and photographed as a police employee grabbed the back of the shirt collar of a protester who wasn't doing anything that anyone else in the street wasn't, dragged him down to the ground, and then proceeded to spray mace at everyone, including me. And these are just a handful of the known, less than professional actions done by someone who claims to serve and protect his community. Fortunately, Drew was successful in bringing the spotlight of attention onto this criminal. So successful, in fact, that Rothacker resigned from his job yesterday. Unfortunately, that doesn't preclude him from subsisting off money extorted from his neighbors in the form of a pension, but at least Rothacker will be off the street and no longer operating under the guise as if he has the legal right to initiate force. Kudos to Drew for his efforts. And if his face and name are familiar, that's not surprising. And his email signature, by the way, is the Latin phrase for who will watch the watchman. Well, it seems to me Drew has done a damn fine job taking care of that himself. But obviously he can't do it alone. It's going to take all of us. And I appreciate each and every one of you advancing this effort in your own way. If you want to show Drew a little love and have the means, please stop by his GoFundMe page, linked to in the description below, and send him a little of that fiat currency. He says 100% of which will go towards continuing his activism. If you live in the Twin Cities, be on the lookout for Drew. He recently bought a used road pirate vehicle, added some graphics that include no victim, no crime, and uses it to do outreach.